But guys, here's an update on the uh, turn the light 300EX, the 99. I uh, shine the light over here. Got the axle on. I got a DuraBlue uh, aftermarket axle in the previous video I told you about. Uh, it's all set to go. And put custom wheel spacers on there. And the new bolts I got on this side is right there. Right here, brand new bolts. Torque those down to like 80 foot pounds. Threw a lock tight on it and put that the pins on. <clears throat> what else did I do? Put that on. I got a brand new oil filter. I installed it in here. Oops, sorry about that quality. Put a brand new oil filter in there from Honda. Put new oil on it, but it still needs more because I need a little bit more. And it leaks somewhere, but I don't care because it's kind of a beater quality because I still have the 250, but what else? Grease the front end. The front brakes are good. I put brand new brakes on, brake pads I meant. Just added this tool pouch. It has a few tools in there, vice grips, screwdrivers, etc. The motor runs great on this thing. Uh, clutch lets out really good, so someone definitely had the clutch replaced at one point. And the chain needs to be tightened. And I need a new brake reservoir up here. Maybe I could take this thing off. It's so easy. Just take it off while you're riding. I need a new one of these because it's leaking out on the ends. And it's plastic, so it's obviously shit. So, what are you gonna do? And then it leaks, the brake fluid leaks, and then goes onto the exhaust, and then it blows white uh, smoke you think it's the motor that's blowing the smoke but it's not so yeah next thing I need to add on is the uh, grab bar which is somewhere over here I think here it is so this goes on something like this on each side what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this tab off for the tail light, that way it can go right on. And then I just bought brand new Honda bolts, so that should bolt right up to that. So I'll probably do that tomorrow. But anyways, yeah. I painted the tip black and this end black because it was rusty, really bad. And I might get another exhaust for the whole system on Craigslist. Some kids selling it for forty bucks, so. I might get that. I don't really want to get an aftermarket. He's selling it, but I kind of want something quiet because kind of ride where not really supposed to be riding. But if you got somewhere to ride, just ride. So I'm gonna put this thing back on. Yeah, and the chain needs to be tightened, like I said. It also has got aftermarket shocks on here. Razor tires all around, so. The quad's basically ready to go. Ready for riding. So now I got something else to beat the hell on. So yeah, hopefully I don't beat the shit out of this thing. That bad that it conks out on me like the first week. So I'm going to just take it slow. And just break it in. Just get a nice feel on it. And an idea of, uh. Uh, if there's anything else wrong with it, but the motor is freaking strong as hell. Thing starts up like it's brand new and the idles for old aisle forever, as long as it got gas in it. But anyways, this axle is crazy wide. This thing I love about it. The thing looks like a racing quad. So yeah, there's an update, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.